You ever just get a haircut and then you're just like, ah! Cause same. Oh, hello, my visionaries. So today is the first of many monologue Mondays. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're gonna go with it. On monologue Mondays, like I said in my I have a 12% of a uh, hey, hey, hey. Like I said in my I have 12% of a plan video, these videos are gonna be specifically dedicated to monologues. I'm going to be slating. I'll be giving my name, I'll be giving the piece I'll be doing, who it was written by, and the character I will be portraying. So, uh, without further ado, let's get it started. Hi, my name is Shane Fussell, and today I'm going to be performing Black Stash's monologue from Peter and the Starcatcher, as written by Richard Orloff. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Oh, to be in England, now that April's there, but whoever's not in England gets to see my facial hair. Now, you're likely wondering, can the fellow before you be entirely evil? Can no compassion uncrease this furrowed brow? Well, fret not, Morey, for I'm a romantique. There's a poet in these pirate veins, and so... I plug into the muse. Oh, but what to do? Which style to use? I am become box office poison, really. Haiku. Summer, I don't think so. <laughs> Mind the cuticle, Smee. Hope oh, I've got it. The pirate was scared of panache. Wants the key to the trunk with the cash. Now, Here's some advice. Though I seem to be nice, I'll cut you! Slice you up one side and down the other so that ye can watch your own stomach flop about the deck. On prayer, but I'm a romantic. There's a poet in these pirate veins, and so I plug into the news. But what to do? Which style to use? <laughs> Iambic, a oh, box office poison, really. Haiku, summer, I don't think so. Hoop, <laughs> 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 I've got it. The pirate with scabs of panache wants the key to the trunk with the cash. Now, here's some advice. Though I seem to be nice, I'll cut you. Slice you up one side and down the other so that ye can watch your own stomach flop about the deck! <laughs> huh? Smee, you didn't inform my lord here that I'm in fact a bloodthirsty outlaw. I sir, but he still wouldn't give up the key. Oh, uh, we haven't got all night, Smee. People have paid for nannies in this. <laughs> oh, but alas, he gives up sad. Let's go! Nanny! We'll shoot the fueling spawn and we can bring it hither! And how to do it? <laughs> Your name, bro. Oh! Uh, no, ma'am. 